Tags are what we use to place descriptive characters on a preset to make it easier to find that sound that you need. A preset can be tagged multiple times depending on how one likes to organize or describe that preset. On the left hand side of the screen you'll see what we call tags and presets. These are all play level tags and presets. If you were to change or load one of these presets it would affect all of the rack space and any effects associated with it. I've created a preset having three synths loaded into the rack and having a reverb effect on the side. To save it, you want to go up to preset and go to save as. First, you can name the preset whatever you like. Then below, you can check the boxes of tags that you would like to be added to the preset. So if you want acoustic pianos, you would select that. You can also select multiple tags that this will be stored under. To enter a new tag, you want to click here to enter the name of the tag that you want to use. Once you click there, you can enter the name of the tag in the field. Now the preset has been saved and tagged. You'll see that the new tag that I've created is now in the list with the preset tagged underneath. If you have created many tags and this list begins to be kind of big, you can always use the tag filter to filter out any of the unwanted tags here. You can either select a specific tag that will scale it down to that, or you can select specific characteristics to see the type of sound that you want to get.